Hello, and thank you for joining us on this session of Fayette Connection. I'm Jessica. And I'm Lori, and we're with Fay Penn Economic Development Council. Fayette Connection is a web series that focuses on connecting the Fayette County business community with available regional resources. Today we are fortunate to be joined by Bill Jackson, owner of Jackson Farms. Hi Bill, and thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day today to talk with us a little bit about Jackson Farms. Um, so first of all, tell us a little bit about the history of Jackson Farms. Well, I'm happy to do so. Um, my grandparents came here and bought a small piece of land around 1940. Um, Actually, they were here prior to that, but during the Depression, pretty much lost everything. So I uh, started back up about 1940, bought roughly 40 acres here. Um, over the years, my father and one of my uncles developed the property, added to, um, and then in 1958 is when they actually started uh, processing and bottling milk. At the time, there was a certain piece of equipment they didn't want to buy, and they thought uh, bottling their own was a cheaper way out. So we've grown since then. The um, farm now is uh, close to 900 acres. In present day, I'm in partnership with a brother-in-law, Kerry Harvey, uh, in the whole operation. And we, we grow most of the feed here, um, feed milk 150 cows, and uh, process bottled milk, make ice cream, and uh, we have a retail facility. So, um, you know, it's, it's grown and evolved over the years. Now, Bill, you just mentioned, um, you know, about your family, this is a, a generational business. Um, besides that, why is being located in Fayette County important for you? Well, I think, you know, we have a tremendous area. It's beautiful. Natural resources are, uh, you know, abundant. Uh, some of the tourism in the area. So, you know, Fayette County's home. We joke as far as farming with our steep hillsides that maybe our ancestors, you know, were traveling west and the wagon wheel broke. So, you know, that's why we ended up here because you, you know, it isn't an area you would pick to farm and grow crops just because um, the soils aren't great. And, and again, the hillsides aren't suitable to big equipment, but it's home and we love it and wouldn't want to be anywhere else. And Bill, um, if, if somebody wanted to purchase products that you make here at Jackson Farms, where are they, what kind of products are, do you make and where are people able to purchase them? Well, um, again, we, we do process and bottle our milk. So we have uh, skim, low fat, uh, whole milk, chocolate milk, um, buttermilk, and we make a premium ice cream. We have a store located right here on Route 40. That's our main outlet. But we also have about 20 other locations through maybe a three county area. Um, Walnut Hill Shop and Save, Peachins, JG Food Marts, I think there's seven or eight of those. Um, Brodax Shop and Save, uh, Brodax have three stores. Uh, New Salem Mini Mart. And we also um, supply a few restaurants, Stonehouse, um, Braddock's, Maywood Grill, Bittersweet Cafe. So uh, we're, we're located you know, pretty well around um, probably a three county area. That's wonderful. And Bill, finally, what do you see as an opportunity for growth for Jackson Farms in this area? Well, I think, you know, I don't think there are any limits. I think the whole buy local thing and the fact that people, you know, want to know where their food comes from um, plays in our favor. We do have plans. We're going through a maybe a little bit of a slow but an expansion project. We want to get into making cheese and we think there are all kind of possibilities there. Um, you know, I have family members we've talked about getting into to catering. We do some things at our store that, um, you know, potato salad, um, um, sandwich rings, different kind of trays and that people come in for and, and we do very well with. So I think there's opportunity. I think the key is, you know, be motivated and, and be willing to work hard and, and make it happen. But I, I don't see any any real limits to what we can do. Well, thank you very much, Bill. We appreciate you taking the time today to talk with us. Thank you. I'm happy to do so. Thank you so much, Bill, for joining us today. If you would like to learn more about Jackson Farms, you can visit their Facebook page or you can give them a call. The number is at the bottom of the screen. Thank you for watching Fayette Connection. We'll see you soon.